Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to migrate data from Google BigQuery to SQL Server and vice versa. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that how we can migrate data from Google BigQuery to SQL Server using SSIS and then we'll migrate data from SQL Server to Google BigQuery using SSIS as well. For this particular migration, we will be using the SSIS data flow components from DevArt. They provide a wide variety of components to migrate data from one source to another destination. So if you want to try their components, then you can download the trial version, which is free for 30 days. And if you want to purchase their component, then you can get an additional 10% discount using the Learn SSIS 10 coupon code. So let's see how we can migrate data from Google BigQuery to SQL Server. So I have an account on the Google and if you want to for example log into the Google BigQuery then you can just type Google BigQuery okay and then you can just simply log into it okay and then you know you can click on it like try it in console so this will open the console for the Google BigQuery okay where you have the different options available so this particular window got popped up okay so I have an account on the Google BigQuery so I have this particular default project and in this particular project I have the demo data source okay so if you want to for example want to create a new data source data source you can think of like a database okay so in the database we can have tables similarly in a data source we can have the tables as well so we can create a new table here but if you want to know like how to create a data source so you can simply click on it on the project and then click on the create data set so you simply need to provide the name of the data set and that's it. Uh, the default region is this one US but you can select the other region as well. Okay and then click on the create data set. So it will create a new data set. But I'm going to use the existing data set. So I have this demo data set and I want to create a table here. So to create a table you can click here and then click on create table. You can create the table using the SQL query as well. But right now I will show you how you can create a table from a CSV file. So I have CSV file on my local machine. So I will create the table using that particular CSV file. So in the first option, there are multiple options. Either you can create an empty table. So you can select this option, create empty table and you can define the columns here, add field. However, there are some other options as well that you can upload a CSV file or maybe other file like Excel file from here or you can upload the file from Drive, Amazon S3, Google Bigtable or Azure Blob Storage. So I will use the upload option from here and then I can browse the file. So I have a CSV file on my machine like this one. Uh, it contains I think 442 records. It's a CSV file. So I'm selecting this particular file. So it has automatically detected that the format of the file is CSV. It can import some other files as well like JSON, AVRO, Parquet and ORC. So our file type is CSV. Okay. So the destination project will be this one, evident wine this one. And the data set will be this one, demo data set. And you can give the table name. So I can give the table name as employee, for example. And on the schema I can select on this one auto detect so it will automatically detect the schema from the CSV file now there are some options like uh, partitioning on the table but right now I'm not going to do any kind of partitioning I will just create the table as it is so we don't need to look at the advanced options as well just click on the create table and it will create a new table and will upload data from the CSV file into the table so the employee created so that's good so if you want to preview the data from this particular table then you can just click on this option and click open new tab okay so this will show the data from the table so here it's showing the schema like these are the uh, columns in the table and their data type however if you want to see the data so you can click on the preview option so here you can actually see the actual data from the table so this is the data like ID, first name, last name, email, gender. Okay. You can also query the table as well. So for example, if you want to query the table, so you can click here and then there is an option query. So if you click on the query, then it will generate the query for you. So suppose I want to select all columns so I can write a star here, like select a star from this is the project name till here P6. This is 
data set name and this is the table name so if I run the query now so it will select all the records from the table limiting them to up to 1000 records okay I think this table contains 442 records so I can actually show you like how many records this particular table contains so I can execute this query count star so you can see that the total number of records in the table are 442 okay so in the first step what we will do that we will uh, migrate the data from the from this table from the employee table from Google BigQuery into the SQL server so I have the SQL server instance here okay and I got the same employee table with the same schema here in the SQL server so if I execute the query then you can see that the table is right now empty so I got the employee table but the table is empty right now so we will migrate the data from the Google BigQuery to this particular table employee table in the SQL server so let's open the Visual Studio so this is my uh, Visual Studio where we will write the code to migrate data from Google BigQuery to SQL server using the DevOut SSIS Dataflow components so to migrate the data we will be using the Dataflow task so we can simply drag and drop the Dataflow task from toolbox into the control flow window so I can actually call this particular task as uh, big query to SQL server okay now I can double click on this one now because we want to migrate data from Google BigQuery so our source should be BigQuery source so I can simply drag and drop the dev art BigQuery source into the data flow task alright so the BigQuery source has been added to the data flow now let's right click on this particular task and click on edit so this is the dev art BigQuery source editor inside the connection manager we need to click on the create a new connection manager so it should create a new connection to the Google BigQuery alright so this is the default option that will pop up so here you can click on the web login okay so it will ask you like using which account you want to connect to the BigQuery so I'm using this account so now it's saying that the DevArt SSIS Dataflow components wants access to your Google account so you can click on continue and now you can see that the authorization is successful alright so the first option is the project ID so the project ID is this one evident win this one okay so you can copy this information from here till this one p6 so I can copy this information and I can paste it here now the data set ID you can also you know get from the same location demo so this is the data set ID this one so I can paste it here okay now the cloud storage bucket in our case the cloud storage bucket name is this one uh, let me open this one uh, big query SSIS okay so this is the bucket name so I can go back to Visual Studio and can paste the bucket name here now I can click on the test connection so you can see that the connection is successful so that's good I can click on ok ok so I'm connected to the demo data set and inside the demo data set I got the employee table which is the only table at the moment if you have multiple table then it will show you all the tables okay so I can simply drag and drop the employee table into the query window so it will automatically generate the select statement if you want to preview the data so you can click on this option preview data and it will fetch the data from the big query and it can show the data here okay which is cool so I can click on close you can also use the system variables and the user defined variables in the query as well which makes the things really dynamic so we are done here like we will select all data from the employee table and will migrate it to SQL server so so that's okay for the big query source editor so I can click on okay so our big query source has been configured now we want to migrate the data insert the data into the SQL server so we can simply use the OLEDB destination so I can simply drag and drop the OLEDB destination into the data flow task and then we can connect the big query source to the OLEDB destination right click on the OLEDB destination click edit here you can create a connection manager to the school database so we already have a connection which we can use from data access mode we will select table or we fast load and then from the name of the table we can select the employee table go to the mappings 
here you can see that all the input columns have been automatically mapped with the destination columns that's good because their names are same if one of the column is not mapped then you can map them manually as well now click ok so now we have configured the data flow task to migrate the data from google bigquery to the sql server so i can click on the start button and it should migrate data from google bigquery to sql server so you can see that the migration of data 442 records from google bigquery to sql server is successful i can go back to the sql server and i can run the select query so you can see that the data is successfully migrated here so which is good okay so you can see the migration is successful which is a good news okay now suppose if i want to migrate data from the uh, you know sql server into the google bigquery then how we can do that okay so suppose uh, if I insert 10 more records here, like insert into employee, okay, and if I uh, selected 10 records from the same table, okay, so now uh, we got 452 records now we have in the SQL Server. Now, suppose if I want to migrate this data to the Google BigQuery, okay, so uh, suppose let me truncate the existing table. Like truncate table and the table name so I can execute this particular query so this statement removed 442 rows from the employee so which is good now let me uh, ch check the count again from the table now it should have zero records yeah you can see that now we have zero records so now let's try to migrate data from sql server and migrate all 452 records from sql server to google bigquery into the same table employee table okay so i can stop the execution of the package and now let me disable this task and let me just drag and drop another data flow task okay and i will call this particular data task as sql server to bigquery okay and this time because we want to read the data from the SQL server, so our source will be OLEDB source. So I can simply drag and drop the OLEDB source into the data flow task and I can configure this one. I can write a query here like select a star from employee. Okay, So it will select the data from the employee table from SQL server. Now our destination will be the BigQuery. So we can use the devout BigQuery destination and then we can connect the OLEDB source with the BigQuery destination and configure the BigQuery destination. From the connection manager, we can use the devout BigQuery connection manager. Now go to the component properties. The action will be insert here. Inside the object name, you need to select the table name. So our table name is this one, demo.employee. Demo is the data set and the table name is the employee. Okay. Now we can go to the column mappings and from the column mapping make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns so that's good so i can click ok so now we are good to execute this particular package now this time it will migrate data from sql server to google bigquery all right so you can see that the migration of data from the sql server to google bigquery is successful so it's so simple that you can simply just drag and drop couple of components and you can migrate data from one source to another destination you know so the devout components make it very easy to migrate the data from n number of sources to n number of destinations so now let's go back to the google bigquery and verify that the data got loaded into the employee table okay so let me execute this particular query so now you can see that we got 452 records here so which is perfectly fine if you want to preview data, so we can preview the data as well from this particular table. So you can see that the data got migrated correctly. Okay. So I think that's it for today's video. If you got any question, then you can comment on the video. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you like the video, then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.